So first of all, I really need to know where you got the name from. The Diet Terminator is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I am uh, a proponent against diets. I, um, what people don't understand is that dieting is the number one people overeat. So what happens when we say we can't have something? We obsess what? about it. <laughs> and the Terminator, well, I'm an Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, so <laughs> that's where yeah. Termin the Terminator part came from. Okay. So um, about getting rid of the diet mentality and moving on to teaching people how to eat healthfully by um, getting to the heart of why they're overeating to begin with. So yeah. what are those patterns that you're... What is that reason that you have the knee-jerk reaction to overeat and turn to food to... Um, you know, we have a whole uh, variety, a category of food called comfort food, right? Com oh, food is very so comforting good. for us. And it's very, very easy to turn to food to soothe, to satiate an emotion, to try to um, self-medicate, right? Mm -hmm. We eat for lots of other reasons than being actually physically hungry. So yeah. uh, boredom, stress, loneliness, um, you know, all Being kinds of things. Stimulation with yes. that chocolate. <laughs> chocolate stimulation, right? Being tired, <laughs> um, being sad, all those things um, can create a pattern of overeating. So um, what I help people do is see what those patterns are within them to pay attention to, okay, I'm craving sugar or massive carbohydrate cravings. Yes. Um, what is, am I really actually hungry or do I have something else going on? So for me, it started when I, at the age of 12, I was on my first diet by 12 and I was yo-yoing back and forth, overeating, uh, trying to diet, over-exercising in this whole cycle of, um, that was fueled by a negative body image. So, wow, that's um, so early. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised. So yeah. it's very common to, at that age, uh, be anywhere between 10 to 14. That's where we, particularly women, but I think it's more and more happening in boys and men as well, where okay. we're looking at the images on TV and on in magazines. Mm -hmm. um, and one, all the magazine stuff is being airbrushed, right? So we're comparing right, ourselves to, uh, correct, it's uh, comparing ourselves and saying, wow, I don't look like that person. Mm -hmm. If I just um, lost weight, I'd be a good person. So that's another thing women do. Um, we have a tendency to put our entire self-esteem around our body image. Yeah. Um, so if someone says, oh, I'm fat, I must be a bad person. Um, so to really also help women um, improve their self-image and body image and feel good and live in a body that they want to live in and feel good in. Yeah. And I know that, you know, you talked about the psychology of it. I remember going to school and they kind of taught us that we're naturally inclined to eat um, you know, carb lots more carbohydrates naturally inclined to you if we get access to sugar, try to eat a lot of it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a natural thing. And so combating that, I mean, how do you get past something that is kind of a natural occurrence for us right. and start eating more healthily? Um, so uh, the first thing I have people do is just be a fly on your wall and be paying attention to what types of food triggers you may have. Yeah. So thing, a little bit of background on habits. A habit has... A cycle it's uh, there's a trigger an action and a reward and the more often that habit um, that you follow through with that habit the deeper it gets and the heart yeah. and the harder it is to break from it but you have control of your habits and that's where people I think miss out on yeah. you don't have to keep falling into it so finding your trigger and what the action is and then either try to alleviate the trigger altogether so um, or have a better understanding of your trigger so you can manage the trigger Meaning for me, I was an anxiety eater. Okay? Oh, yeah. So whenever I was anxious, I would come home. School made me very anxious. So I'd come home from school and head right to the kitchen and eat all the sugar I could get my hands on. <laughs> okay. It's like a cure, but it also will make you go straight to sleep. <laughs> exactly. So um, what I realized over the many years of yo-yoing was, wow, this has nothing to do with the food, but it has to do with how I am dealing with my emotion, my anxiety, or not dealing with it, right? Basically trying to numb myself out with sugar. So once I uh, created a new pattern of, um, you know, Every time I stepped foot in the kitchen, I would ask myself, Sherry, are you actually hungry? Are you here for a meal? Or are you feeling anxious for some reason? And I would just uh, sit there and evaluate it. Okay, well, no, I'm anxious. And, and at, when I could decide and determine when I was anxious, 
then I could make a choice, right? I didn't have to keep going in that direction and turn to the sugar. I had some other go-to things like listening to music and calling a good friend. So I, could, I had some other options yeah, to put in so the action. Yeah, so finding something to basically replace mm -hmm. that junk food craving. Absolutely. Yeah. So when, once we alleviate those uh, those automatic triggers that cause are causing the overeating patterns, mm -hmm. um, we naturally eat when we're physically hungry. Right. Um, we naturally eat the right amount for our bodies and our movement patterns. Um, and the weight simply falls off and we get to a nice healthy um, body weight and start to feel good in our bodies. Yeah. And um, the dieting sort of, <laughs> the dieting mentality, you don't need that anymore because yeah. you're just eating normal for you. Um, and, you know, eating healthfully is not super rocket science, right? Most people know what to do. They just are incapable of doing it because they're stuck in these patterns uh -huh. of that um, the un unhealthy relationship with food patterns. Yeah, so. I can get that. <laughs> I can totally understand that. <laughs> yeah, so is there anything else that you want to offer as far as strategic advice for people or anything else that they can do to kind of transition into that healthier life before we go? Oh uh, yeah, so um, you know I help people. I'm a I'm a coach for the Yo-Yo Diet Cycle and helping you through those unhealthy eating patterns. Um, I also certify other co diet terminator coaches. I'm also looking for other people who are on my same mission and want to help people overcome their yo-yo eating patterns and develop a healthy relationship with food and themselves. Um, and they can find me at dietterminator.com. Great. Well, thanks so much for those tips. Thank you for having me. Awesome.